All right, so right there you're listening to the soulful sound of Becky Kane, a local artist who does it all and gives back to youth across the area in the process. A teacher by day, Becky dropped an album called The Risen Queen last year. She's performed all over, winning an album deal and 10 city tour in the process. Her live debut, though, happening tonight at Tacoma Station Tavern. That's in Northwest. And then she's going to be performing live on Showtime at the Apollo in New York this week. That is so exciting. So we have Becky Kane in the studio this morning joining us. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thank you for having me. So you've been singing for some time. It started as a child. You actually started singing your music career uh, in church. Yes, What made I you did. fall in love with music and how does it make you feel? You know, it's crazy. I really do not know how I fell in love with it, but I know that it was purposed by God. Mm -hmm. um, my mom used to tell me that when I was in a stroller, I wasn't even walking yet, I was prophesied over at a church that I would be a psalmist. And wow. if we all know in the Bible, Psalms was written by David and um, they were actually songs detailing his life and the things that he went through and just how God was there through everything. And so I look at myself as, um, I would say, in reinvention of um, David in the Bible, mm -hmm. writing songs that detail my life and the things that I've gone through and just how God has always been there through everything. And I'm just so grateful. And my goal is to actually um, impact hope throughout the world, you know, just by telling my story and everything that I've been through. I'm telling you, nothing like knowing your purpose and God's plan for you, which <laughs> is sometimes greater than, I, than our own. Uh, everyone has a story. In fact, you tell your street music a lot. And yes. something that helped inspire your album, The Risen Queen. Uh, you got into a car accident. I did. And that inspired some of the songs, uh, some of your work. Tell yes. us about that. So I was in a car accident, um, 2015, and I basically, um, it caused me to be left ambulating on a cane. And so through that experience, I thought to myself for a while, how can I continue to do music in this state? Mm -hmm. And something just told me, you know what? Use this as your pivot. Use this as your, um, your go-getter moment. And so pretty much what I did was I sat down. I realized, you know what? I just need to pimp my cane out and get a nice looking cane mm -hmm. and continue to perform. And pretty much um, writing the album, it was like the last straw for me, um, the accident. It made me realize that my story needed to be told. Mm -hmm. And so through that and that happening, it pretty much impacted this beautiful picture that I've created. And in music, it's just amazing how, you know, one incident yeah. can literally shape the rest of your life. Absolutely, change like your it, whole perspective. Exactly, it changed my whole perspective. And you do that a lot for a, a lot of DC youth. I know that you've developed a couple programs around yes. the area. Uh, you even started a program called Empire for Kids. You have a show tonight at Tacoma Station. I do. And you're performing at Showtime at the Apollo. That's right. Tuesday. Give us a quick snippet of your voice so folks know what they can look forward to as uh, people watch the information. See the information <laughs> on the full screen there. Okay, so I'm gonna actually sing a couple lines from stories. And it goes like this. She white is your heart so cold. See, isn't this getting old? They say everybody got a show, or so I've been told. I guess nobody really knows. No, um. see, I love to you more than you will ever know. Now, every time I think about the good times and bad times, I remember why we never tied the bow. Oh. Uh -huh. This is beautiful. You can just <laughs> feel all of that. So, well, Becky, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Your show tonight, again, at 7 o'clock at Tacoma Station. We'll be right back.